nature I'm expecting here, Phil. Yeah, six foot two versus five foot nine, an interesting dynamic in the start of this fight. And Peace is the six foot two fighter wearing the white trunks, and Gervin, the smaller striker in the black. Done the right thing, tried to close the distance on the bigger Ranger man there. And it's hitting the grapple exchange, attempted the trip. Colin Peace wise to it. Maybe looking space to, to create uh, for a knee here. He's just looking maybe to push out as well. He seems to want to get his distance back and get it back into kickboxing distance, striking distance. Knee in the middle from the henchman. Really driven and keeping all the pressure on. It's turned. He's into the cage now. Maybe going to try work and change levels. Look for single. a single. Yeah, no, you're right. No ankle pick, perhaps. Good work by Priest just to shake that off. But the attack is coming again. The second wave. I'd like to see the base a little bit wider from Colin here. Good transition. He's the well. Takes it and knee to the stomach there as Gervin was trying. He just landed the strike. And over under position here. A real battle of position here to open the first round in the welterweight division. We've seen a lot of welterweights showcase their skills tonight. So both fighters will be eager to this leave piece. a lasting memory. The space there for a big left knee from Town Peace when he's in that position that would really take the wind out of the seals of, of Mr. Gervin. And Gervin is just, he's like talking, he, he just stuck to him here. He's not allowing Peace to get any separation. Can we have Town Peace throwing those knees? You can really see Town Peace, he really has to duck down almost to get at the level. He's going to be careful looking at too much because Gervin trying to latch onto that neck. That's a good knee to the body from Town Peace. Good wide sprawl up against the cage with a wide base. Gervin looking to get in on a single leg takedown here. Pull the leg out of Callum Peace and turn it a 90 degree angle. Goes for a high cross and dumps him down on his head. Bit of a scramble for position here. Gervin is just battling to try and get in the dominant position, but Peace does well. A stand back up and Gervin wow. with a beautiful right hook in that exchange. But now we see the game plan of, of, of Rory Gervin is, is to land the big shots to close the distance to get in, exploit his wrestling. He's, he's a compact man. He's five foot nine, but he's very strong. We've seen that just by the fact he was able to elevate. And there again, then a big slam, and this time it's Peace who scrambles. And Peace wants to separate, and he has, and that's what Gervin doesn't want. Gervin works so hard to get in that, but Peace looks tired, heavy, heavy muscles from carrying the weight of Gervin, and then slams to take it out here. Swinging a mess from Rory Gervin. That miss has caused him to give up his back a little here, and Peace separates. Both men with the hands a little bit low. He's got it sideways stepping, giving different locks, but... Calapiz couldn't do his work from a distance because Rory Gervin, he just kept hunting and closing that distance with a smothering style. Yeah, that was all about closing the distance, grabbing your opponent and scoring a takedown. As we know in MMA, takedowns score bigs. We have two takedowns against zero takedowns in that round. All right, something I'd like to see Callum please just as Gervin is changing the angle and little uppercut could catch him on the way in. Of course, no knees to the... Yeah, a big overhand right though, it's the small man pulled against the taller man is the overhand right. You're talking a little bit as well, Gervin now. Playing a dangerous game with the taunting in the hands down. Swings wildly with that left. He's done that in the first round and allowed Peace to get the back and Peace is now turning into the stalker here. I think he lifts his foot ever so slightly when he's throwing that big hook and that takes him off his axis. 
Thought about the super front. Again, he couldn't close that range. And this is the big part. If he can keep it at this, he is much, much longer. And if he can keep Gervin, this is where he wants to fight. But Gervin, expect the bull rush to come in. He uses that big overhand right to close over it. Yeah. He uses that big overhand right to it, it almost close the distance field and mm -hmm. get in on a takedown. But right now you've got Callum Peace landing kicks to the body that with sappy energy as well of Rory Gervin. He's been a lot more intelligent with his approach now. He, he, he's maintaining that distance. That uppercut is there as well. Gervin just bows his head a little when the kicks are there. And that right uppercut for Callum Peace is there. Heavy leg kick from Callum Peace. He's just stalking Rory Gervin now. He's walking him down, Phil. Are the wind, is the wind ever so slightly out of the seals of Rory Gervin? Could be a little. And then big overhand right. They will deplete the energy bar as well. That uppercut again. You can see it there. Callum looks calm. There's that uppercut you were talking about, No. Big overhand right again, and that seems to be the story of the round here for Gervin. He's going for the home run. Nice right hand landed by Peace, though, and followed up. Works to the body. Two wow. beautiful shots to the body. Momentum has the swung in round two. Gervin, he needs to set that right hand up, though. He's thrown that single yep. shot. And so, at the same time, Peace there. He's almost gone to the single shot. That uppercut again. It is there. Callum Peace really looks like he's finding his groove in the second round here at Clown Wars. Stepping in and out. It almost, it almost looks like he's setting Rory Gervin up for this right hand of his own. That's a beautiful uppercut. You can really see it. It is really the stalker and the prey here in round two. And he's giving them all different looks, but he's got to be careful with them. Hands down. Gervin is shown he's got a hammer of a right hand. Only, as we know in MMA, only takes one shot. Swing and a miss again. And that's tiring. Throwing heavy shots and not finding your target is tiring. But that's what he seems to be doing. In the first round, he was using that overhand right to close the distance still and getting the clinch. Now he's just thrown that single right hand and he's out there. Rick to the body is there as well for Callum Peace. He found the head for the uppercut, but the body is there as well. And you feel that Gervin has blown a little hard. The body shots can really take him low there. The big right hand though finally lands in this one, but Peace just walks through it. He's stalking. End of the second round, and that was a big turn of momentum from round one. 100%. Well, no. Yeah, 100%. I think Rory, I, I, I don't know whether it's perhaps the occasion, because he's an MMA fighter who's obviously in great shape, but I think it could be what's known as the adrenaline dump. This is a massive occasion. You're obviously going to have a spike in adrenaline. And by the end of the first round, when you've gone back to your, you gone back to your corner and you haven't finished the fight and you've emptied the tank, that makes the second round very difficult. I'm sure it's going to be telling him, look, let's, let's set up that right hand, because it's there. Peace is coming in with his hands low. That right, that overhand right is there, but you need to set it up. And if you're not setting up, go back to what you were doing in the first round. Throw the right hand, close the distance, get the body lock, and let's try and drag kind of Peace to the map up. Yeah, we've, we've seen the Rory strong in the clinch. He, he got two takedowns in the first round with a, with a high cross single. So why not go back to that game plan? Instead of just, as you say, throwing the overhand and stepping off, not achieving anything, use that to close the distance. Perhaps use a jab straight to close the distance, moving forward, establishing double underhooks. You have to ask, though, Phil, what has Rory Gervin left in the tank? He spent the majority of round two on the back foot. Did he take the round off? Is he going to leave some in the gas tank here for round three? We're about to find out, because Aaron Wallace says, let's get it off for round three. The oblique kick on the knee there as well. One that most fighters don't fancy, but there we go. Change level coming off a Callum Peace wild hook. Gervin tried to implement, but, but that's what we want to see more from Gervin. That, uh, that clinch, that initiating the clinch with his strikes and perhaps trying to establish a take down. Peace done well to circle out of there, and now he's going to that body. And imagine his corner has told him that. Let's take away the body, and that will eventually take away the head. Chopping at that lead leg as well now. Callum Peace really giving Rory Gervin all different looks, Phil. He looks a little bit flat-footed in this third round. There's that swing and a miss again. Like one of them right hooks lands or overhand right lands, Phil, and that could be lights out. So Callum Peace has got to show the respect for that right hand. Paraphrasing the words of the immortal take that, it only takes a minute, girl, to win a fight. Peace comes in after... A big right hand, and now Gervin goes in for it. A desperate takedown. He's got. He looks like he's got it. He's run the corner a little, and at this stage, a takedown would be very big for 
for Rory Gervin. Excellent work though by he's just to get the arm under the throat and spin and pull Gervin back up. Gervin in on a single now. He's using it to try to circle off the cage, but Rory Gervin, this is what he, he was doing in the opening round. I think can establish I think can establish some sort of a takedown, it really just changed the complexity of this round. His head's very low. Good base from Colin Peace. You feel if Peace can fight off this takedown, this could be the fight winning scenario for him if he can separate and get it back into his distance. He has the double underhooks. Roy Durbin has the double underhooks. What I'd like to see here is a trip from that. Using the head control to get underneath the chin of Colin Peace. Getting his head underneath and then establish a trip takedown. Some good shots up against the cage here by Rory Durbin. Look. Good defense as well by Colin Peace. And Colin is just. Ripping that head up as well, and a nice knee as well there on the inside, but Gervin right. is really chasing that takedown. It, it looks like he doesn't quite have the energy to change levels and snap for that takedown, but it is the third round of the fight. He's in on the single, and it's good again, and how big is that in the judges' scorecards in a, a closely contested third round? He just sits up to it easily enough there from the single. He's going to sprawl out wide. and it looks like he could sit through to, to a dodge on a Conda choke. And Gervin tries it. He just needed a body. Knee and the neck is there. Gervin, all his credit is trying. He's in on a guillotine. Close guard. This is all he has left. How much is left in the arms of Rory Gervin? Get in that squeeze. Trying for the guillotine choke. John Pete's like, just, from my view, I can just see his face. He looks comfortable here. He's posturing up. The choke is all right. He's slamming the head down and pops the head out. And that's the end of the fight. And Colin Peace showed good composure with that guillotine tied up. But you question the arms. Maybe they were burnt out after a three-round exchange. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards. But Phil, what way have you scored this one with that big takedown? In the really game? interesting finish. Again, this this is the second point that we sometimes have in mixed martial arts. Dominant work from Colin Peace in that third round. But Rudy Durbin did score a big takedown and there was a submission attempt. I genuinely believe this fight could go either way. Fighting!